Turn it up. If you're looking to buy cheap coins, make sure to check out Crossbell Hut for all your Hut coin needs. Use the code SNHL for 5% off. What is going on guys, it's NHL here and today I'm bringing you episode number 3 of Time for Hut. So you can see on the screen, this is what our team is currently looking like after we won those two games from last episode. And it's, it's getting a little bit better. Still, we have a shit defense score, but all in all right now, it's, it's a decent start to the team. Hopefully we continue winning games so we can continue upgrading our players. But let's jump into our first game, as you can see in the third episode. And the team that we are facing is the lag is the Pittsburgh Penguins. So let's get right into the game and see if we could come out with a win. So in the second period, now taking the first face off in the second period. First period, nothing happened. Nothing was interesting. And Peter Pronto just kind of walks in. He's going to take a wrist and goes top corner. And that will put us up one nothing early in the second period. Now we're in the third period. It is we have about eight minutes left. Kind of skating past the defense, waiting for someone to get open so I can do a one timer. But no one is there, of course, because AI sucks in this game. But I kind of do that little um, behind the net glitch to secure another goal. And now we have the lead to nothing in the third period. Then right after that goal, we start off from the face off. He gets the puck. Knock it off. Miko Gunland is going for it. And somehow, this from the weirdest angle possibly ever, I've never scored a goal like this. And it was just, it went in. And I was like, okay. So Miko Gunland gets another goal. And that's the end of the game. As you can see, we did win that game 3 0. We took 19 shots on net. So we're going to the Pittsburgh Penguins and we're going to find the 19th player. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So the 19th player is Moke on the Flurry. 25k is a ridiculous price to buy him at, so obviously not buying him at that price. We're going to find the cheapest one. The cheapest one on the market is 1k, so we do buy it now at 1,000 pucks. So Moke on the Flurry, welcome to the team. So here's what our team is looking like after we pit them up on the floor. We just kind of threw him, obviously, as our main goalie for the next game. And our backup goalie is Buki Boom or Buke Boom, however the hell you pronounce his name. So let's get started. And so with Mark on the floor on our net, we are going to jump into our second game in our third episode. And we hope to come out with the win because if we do come out with the win, we get to open up a pack as this is our last game in division 10 so if we do win we get to go to division number nine and the team that we are facing is the montreal canadians we're facing another montreal canadians fan so let's get right into the game in the second period there's about 16 minutes left he comes takes a shot goes nowhere uh and kind of passes it up and goes past muck on the floor he's, uh pads in the five hole and i thought that was a really weak goal especially for muck on the floor to let in so i'm like He's already giving us trouble. He's going to be a sucky goalie. But that all changes throughout this game. We get the puck. Pass it up to Bitno. He gets the, uh, picks up the loose puck. And does that little behind the net thing. When you hold the X to protect it. And you just put it in the back of the net. Simple glitch I guess you would call it. But it's like I said very effective in this game. It's going in almost 100% of the time. And... That's exactly what we do to put us up one nothing, or to tie the game 1-1. Then right here, he plays the puck. I don't think he meant to do that, but he plays it to um, me by accident, and Pearson is right there to do the one nice one-timer, and that will put us up 2-1 to one in the second period with six minutes left. So right now, we are winning this game, getting a little bit closer to opening up that final pack, and also picking up a new player at the end of this game. Then right here, Chase on. Passes it to o o Amson, I think is his name, Amson. And kind of what happened in, with his first goal was what happened in my first goal. A weak uh, five hole between the pads, but it went in. So we are now up 3-1 to one in the third period. Then right here was a weird goal, but I have a little breakaway. He trips, and somehow he the goalie saves it, but I still managed to score a goal with Malone. And... He stops the game. I was going to review it, but 
when I was about to review the uh, the instant replay, he decides to quit, so I couldn't see it all. But it was a weird pounce, a weird bounce that happened, and and he quit, so we do come up with the win. And we took 26 shots on net, so that means we got to go find the 26th player on the Montreal Canadiens. But before we do that, we did win Division number 10, so that means after we buy a player, we get to open up a pack of my choice. So let's go into the auction house. We have the NHL Montreal Canadiens. Let's go find our 26th player to buy. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So the 26 player that we find is a Max Petrovetti, who will be a great addition to our team. And the cheapest one on the market is 3,900 pucks. So that's the one that we are going to pick up. And now let's go open up a pack because we did win division number 10. And since we did win division number 10, I thought I would go for a premium gold jumbo pack. Uh, just more content inside hopefully we get a good poll so we can give it away to you guys if it's someone good so we're gonna open up the pack and we get shit all like legit shit all like this is, describes my pack look this whole year on both consoles on ps3 and ps4 like just complete shit so we got a thousand coins yay <laughs> uh so stay tuned for episode Episode number four to see if we continue our winning streak. Thanks for watching, guys. It's NHL out. Peace. Hold up, cut the track and rewind, baby. Every day is a party. Sometimes I think I'm tripping, just trying to keep my head from getting big like Stewie Griffin. Man, I'm married to the game. Holy mess from